Special Operation Forces are the multi-tool of the Ukrainian army. These units are prepared for literally any task, no matter how dangerous and complex. We are lucky to catch the Omega unit on a mission we can join and survive. are facing Avdivka. As you know, it's the most difficult area of the front line at the moment. The Russian army took it in the pinces, but are incapable to close the circle around it. Uh, Ukrainian forces have launched a huge campaign to defend the city, and massive battles take place every minute. Avdivka has been a frontline city for 10 years. Just 15 kilometers away from occupied Donetsk, it has remained a Ukrainian stronghold. However, this winter, Russian forces launched a massive assault on the city with the aim of capturing it by the end of 2023. Although they have not succeeded, the situation remains critical, with the main road to Avdivka only a few kilometers away from the enemy forces. In fact, our team reported from Avdivka just a year ago, and you can see that the situation has drastically changed. Everything changed, starting with the distance of enemy attacks and ending with how massive the attacks are. Back then, they used less aviation and drones. What kind of tactics do the enemy forces use? They just wipe out everything. They have always had such a tactic. They just raise everything to the ground so that there is nowhere for us to hold defense. And then they try to move forward somehow. The troops operate a partisan, a DIY MLRS unit, or simply put, a mini grad mounted on a pickup truck. Today's target is one of Avdivka's flanks, about 10 kilometers away. Usually, Omega moves into Avdivka for a couple of days and works there with mortar launchers, drones or other equipment. Among all the tasks they undertake, their main goal is to support the infantry, which is struggling with the defense. Wherever we are needed, we'll be there. Because the line here is quite close, in general, we can work at 360 degrees. Is it scary going to the city knowing that they may be encircled? There is always fear, but we realize that we are not the only ones in Avdivka. So somehow that's more reassuring. 